Welcome back to CoreCoin today for August 30th, 2019. This is the show where I break down some of the biggest news stories happening in the world of CoreCoin right now and give you my thoughts on them. If you want to learn more about these stories, come up with your own opinions. Check out the show notes down below. I'll put a link to each story in the order I talk about them so that you can let us know what you think. We'll love to hear from you. And if you're new here, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, helps us a lot because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we're doing. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost cable TV with daily core cutting videos, news videos like this, reviews, how to guides, even weekly core cutting Q and A's. So make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, and hopefully we will help you also. Well, before we get into the news, uh, PlayStation View is on sale right now. Their core plan, which includes a lot of the sports networks people want, is on sale $10 off for the first two months. Perfect timing with college football getting underway. Um, you can get this deal. Traditionally, when this deal happens, current core subscribers get it too. So leave me a comment. I haven't been able to check yet. Um, this happened last night, which was a very busy night in the world of news, which I'll get into in a minute. But if you are a current PlayStation View core subscriber, you're getting this deal, leave us a comment. Let me know. If you are not a PlayStation View uh, subscriber, even thinking about it, this could be a good time to get 20 bucks off your PlayStation View subscription over the next two months. So check it out. All right, sports, a lot happened last night. Sling TV, right off the bat, announced that Dish and um, its parent company of Sling TV uh, has announced a deal to bring the ACC network to Sling TV. It's now live, it went live um, briefly yesterday for the Clemson football game, and then today. It's in free preview, but traditionally it's available in the Sling Orange plan with the sports add-on. Uh, ACC Network is the conference network for the ACC conference, so tons of great college football will be included with this uh, network, and basketball and all kinds of stuff will be there. But um, to get it, you'll need to be an orange plan with the sports add-on once the free preview ends. I've reached out to Sling to ask how long this free preview is good for. I'll update the story once we learn more over at corecarsnews.com. But for everybody who really wanted the ACC Network on Sling TV, they got it. They got it just in the nick of time before the first um, ACC Network football game with Clemson versus Georgia Tech last night. Hope you watched it, hope you enjoyed it. Um, so let me know, is that, does that change your view of Sling TV? Does it make you more likely to subscribe? Because um, for that, 35 bucks right there gets you all the ESPNs, ACC Network, SEC Network, and a whole lot more included. All right, next news story up of the day. This is one I've been getting a lot of questions about recently um, because people have been finding these crazy good deals on eBay. Um, and they've been asking us, hey, Luke, is this deal real? So we dug, did some digging and it turns out, no, many of these cr um, crazy streaming deals, not all, but many of them are not legitimate. And it turns out a lot of them are just stolen accounts that people are reselling, where you can find things, everything from Netflix, Fubo TV, DirecTV, um, and more, all in things that even new ones like DC Universe, get like a lifetime or several year subscription for like 10 bucks. Um, now the telltale sign that this is a stolen account is in the details you'll see something like you may not change the username, password, preferences, packages, etc. You may not do anything, may not create new profiles, may not do this, may not do that. That's because they don't want you to um, tip off the person who owns that account that you're using it. So keep that in mind that there is a real issues here with the fact that if you're trying to use these accounts. It's somebody else's account. They could stop paying for it. They could change their password. They could change the tier, remove what you want. I've even seen like DirecTV satellite packages where you can buy somebody's satellite username and password to log into their satellite plan there. So be very careful of anything that says, um, hey, you cannot change usernames, you cannot change passwords, etc." Uh, though there are legitimate deals on, on eBay. For instance, uh, Best Buy's had these deals where if you like, get a Fire TV, you get these coupons. A lot of people who buy a lot of Fire TVs have been putting those coupons to Sling TV on eBay very cheap um, and more. So sometimes you will see like gift cards or coupons, legitimate ones. Look for the things that say, hey, this is um, an account that you cannot change, you cannot edit, you cannot alter in any way. You can use, but that's it. 
So just keep that in mind that you need to be very careful. Now, if you're worried your account has been compromised, if you're starting to see like a new profile or stuff appear in your recently watched you didn't watch, maybe somebody altered your plan. Um, every now and then I get an email that says something like, oh man, this streaming service is a ripoff. Suddenly I've been upgraded to the most expensive package and I didn't do that. They're trying to steal money from me. Probably happened is somebody bought your account. How did they get a hold of your account? Well, Netflix and stuff hasn't been hacked. What typically happens is people have the same password on multiple things. So if I go, like I have a junk email account now that I've actually had since 98. It's full of junk mail. But I've had it since 98, a Yahoo account and a junk password. And when I go to a website that makes me log in to leave a comment or do something, that's the account I use. Now that account is not good anywhere else now. Um, but one point it was, it used to also be my Hulu login. Uh, well, one day I realized somebody was using my Hulu account and I found out because they you know, created a profile and they things in my recently watched that I didn't watch and more. So keep in mind that this is something that can come up and by anybody. And what happened was probably one of those websites where I used that junk username and a junk password um, was compromised. So you really need to start thinking about, hey, you know, I got a bank account password I don't use anywhere else. I got a account, maybe my Facebook social media password's not used anywhere else. Maybe now I need to think about having my Netflix, Hulu, et cetera accounts to have their own password. Because it's very profitable, right? If I can steal a bunch of passwords, I can use a bot to check out which ones are valid, and then I sell them for 10 bucks a pop. If I compromise one website with 100,000 accounts, let's say a few hundred of them are good, hey, um, 10 bucks a pop, that's a lot of money. And looking at some of these eBay listings, they've sold hundreds of these accounts there. So keep that in mind, check your accounts. Don't be tricked into buying them because often they get shut down. So remember that. And even if they promise a guarantee, they may fully well intend to do that, but when you go back, try and contact them, you may find their eBay account's been terminated for eBay cracking down on this. So you may not be able to reach out to them if somebody realizes they're using your username and password. But as always, as my grandma says, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. All right, a uh, few stories we're going to um, jump through real quick. Not a lot to say here. AT&T and Stars have agreed to a new deal to keep Stars on DirecTV, AT&T TV, and Uverse. I did email AT&T because the AT&T TV Now, which is the new DirecTV Now name, was not included. They said it is good. Stars will stay on AT&T TV now if you're a former DirecTV customer. They, con they consider AT&T TV now the same as AT&T TV in this press release, is what they said. So good news for anybody who use, um, uses Stars. Yes, I uh, saw a couple of comments like, you can get this as a standalone. Yes, you can. But some people like to bundle it. It makes billing a little bit easier. Have one app instead of multiple or one bill instead of multiple. Also, maybe the bigger news is Nexstar owned locals are returning to AT&T, AT&T TV Now, DirecTV, and Uverse. So AT&T and Nexstar have agreed to bury the hatchet. Um, exact details of what the terms of this new deal was is unknown, but they can you can now access AT&T or Nexstar owned locals, which is mostly um, NBC because Nexstar is the largest NBC owner of local channels on AT&T TV. Uverse, DirecTV, and AT&T TV now. That's quite a mouthful of AT&T stuff. But good news, let me know if your local hasn't appeared yet. They said in the next couple of days, if your local is not live, they should all be live. Hopefully by the time I hit upload, if not very soon. Uh, YouTube TV subscribers, um, next story up, are losing access to ESPN3. This is something I've been hearing for a couple of weeks now. We try to track it down. And I guess it does appear that when you click on most ESPN3 accounts, you get a message that says, you are not authorized to view this content. Uh, when we talk to AT&T tech support, or just AT&T tech support, I'm sorry, Google tech support, uh, they said, no, we're sorry. This is, ESPN3 is not included. This is very similar, that's why I said at and This is very similar to what happened with at and T's DirecTV a while back. ESPN3 was part of DirecTV, one day it was just gone, and then at and posted a message saying, it was never meant to be on DirecTV now, that was a mistake, um, and now it's gone, because they're not paying for it. The good news is many ISPs, not all, not all, but many ISPs do include ESPN3 for free as part of your your um, internet service. The downside is you need to 
log out of your YouTube TV account to use ESPN3, and then log back in if you wanna watch something on ESPN, ESPN2, et cetera, through the ESPN app. Um, mixed news here, ESPN3 is not what it used to be. Most of the content, not all, but most of it's been moved over to ESPN+. Plus. Um, and the biggest draw to it is you're being able to watch the content that airs on ABC through it. But YouTube TV has ABC in most markets, so you should be able to use the YouTube TV app to access that. So this isn't quite the, the news it would have been, I think, a few years ago. It's bad news happening at this moment. Now, a few people have said that they were able to still access this uh, ESPN3 content on some devices, but not others. All the devices we have tested, ESPN3 is not working. We have contacted Google for comment. At the time I'm recording this, Google has not replied to our request for comment. We'll post um, updates as we learn more. Sounds like what I'm hearing from inside the industry is Google's raising the, uh, excuse me, ESPN is raising the cost of ESPN3 on things like Google's YouTube TV. So does that change your opinion? You can still use Hulu, you can still use Sling TV, PlayStation View, and more. Still all offer ESPN3 content there. All right, uh, let me know what you think of that, if that changes your thoughts on anything. All right, Apple has an announcement coming. On September 10th, they will have a big event at the Apple campus, invitation only for press. Where it is, we're gonna get new iPhones, iPads, and MacBook Pros. And there's a slight chance we may learn more about Apple TV Plus. I am not expecting any um, Apple TV news. There was rumors that we may get a cheaper version of the Apple TV. Those have really quieted down. Um, wouldn't surprise me if it happened, uh, but Apple actually has a tendency to go and say, hey, we're going to have this big event, and then a week later we're going to have another event. So it's very possible that we may just get another trailer or maybe two trailers for, a for um, the Apple TV service like we did at the previous press conference they had last, where it was just like one trailer for Apple TV+, Plus, and that's all they said about Apple TV+. Plus. Uh, hopefully we learn a little bit more. If not, I expect that within the next month or two or, or so, Sometime in um, September or early October, we'll probably get another event dedicated towards Apple TV uh, Plus. Hopefully, I think Apple will be well served by releasing a cheaper version of Apple TV. Very few people take advantage of the, the hard drive in it because you can't download movies or TV shows, and I think most people don't use their Apple TV for gaming. So I think Apple could actually um, cut that hard drive way back and be able to sell a far cheaper version. That'll probably be a good move for them to compete. But you know, you kind of wonder how serious they are about the Apple TV. They don't talk about it a lot. Now they're bringing the Apple TV app to non-Apple TV devices. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Um, but we'll have full coverage. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if they do this on the 10th. Apple's done this before, and then we get a second event a few weeks later for Apple TV Plus. But we'll have full coverage of anything that happens with Apple TV plus as it happens at this event. And let me know, what predictions do you have? Do you have a prediction on the Apple TV price? Rumor is it'll be about 10 bucks. Rumor is it'll launch in November. Do you have a prediction? Get it in now. Let me know what your predictions are for Apple TV before we get all the information locked in. All right, last story up of the day. Jess has done a breakdown of the discount streaming services. So we have AT&T TV, at t Watch TV, Philo, the new friendly service, which is as cheap as $5.99, includes things like the Weather Channel, Game Show Network, and the Hallmark Channels, and Spectrum's um, Essentials discounted streaming service. Um, so a lot of people have been asking, like, how do these sub, you know, $20 or cheaper packages fare? Is it worth it? How, how do these line up? Because you got services at $25 and then like $40 and $50. But what about these services that are under 20 bucks for core cutters? So Jess has a full breakdown in the show notes down below. I'll pull a link. If you're interested in learning more about what channels they offer, what features they offer, et cetera, what devices they support. So let me know what you think of those. If you've used either AT&T Watch TV, which I I'll admit, I mean, you got AT&T Watch TV, AT&T TV, and AT&T TV now. It's a little confusing. But then you have Philo Friendly and Spectrum's new one. So Spectrum Essentials and Friendly are brand new within the last few months. So let me know if you've used any of those. Leave us a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Well, that's it for today. I hope everybody has a fantastic Labor Day. I know this is traditionally the time where a lot of travel happens, so please be safe on the roads. Please be very safe if you're in the greater Florida area as this hurricane approaches. We had one hit this area a few years ago. 
please, please listen to your local guard, uh, officials. If they say evacuate, get out of there. It's just not worth it. Things can be replaced. You can't be replaced. Be safe. I'll put our guide on how to watch the coverage. News on has a section. Haystack has an updated area. Um, of course, there's friendly and other options to watch the Weather Channel. But there's free options like uh, Weather Nation and more to watch live coverage of this hurricane as it approaches for free streaming online. So check it out. Please, please be safe no matter what you're doing. Even if you're not in Florida, be safe. Have a fantastic weekend. We'll be here all week with more core cutting videos. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow. And if not, on Tuesday. Um, no video Monday. I lied. No update on Monday on Labor Day. We'll see you on Tuesday. Take care, everybody.